Well, hello and welcome back. Happy to have you here with us to farm with the Stovers. We had a mishap. Truck, I think, might actually be totaled. Uh, in the last episode, we got all the equipment purchased from Prairie State. Uh, I was going to load up some of the smaller tractors on this 50-foot gooseneck and got it all, got everything loaded, uh, everything tied down, pulled away, and just tipped over. Well, it's not good. The Everything's upright now, but I can see the frame is completely uh, twisted on the, uh, on the Duramax. The tractors look okay. I think they're going to be fine, and I think the trailer might be okay. The gooseneck portion, it could be a little out of whack, but I think the truck is totaled. Well, we got... Uh, the 3500 over to Cleavers. Uh, they've got a body shop in the back, and they pulled out the telesteer and got the bed off of it. And I, I'm pretty certain this truck is is done for. The entire frame is is bent, and you can see the the diff is cracked. The uh, right along the axle, it's leaking a bunch of fluid right there. That's that's done for. I uh, don't even think I would want to buy it back and try and and try and do anything with it so we're gonna have to look for something else that's a shame but called insurance they're gonna send out someone to look at it and we'll just go from there it's really sad to think that just a day ago that truck was right here uh and now it's gone but i see something out here i'm gonna just take a quick look at this is Caught my eye. This looks really nice. This looks like a TLX 3500 with... That's what I need on the back. Not a bed. I need this. Don't have a sticker or anything on it. But this is beautiful. Uh, okay, let's go in and talk. Well, I have done it again. I bought a truck. Uh, this is a 2022... Uh, TLX 3500, uh, 30,000 miles uh, diesel. Uh, they were asking 52,000 for it, and uh, I think it'll work better, maybe than than that that Silverado. Uh, doesn't have as many things, amenities on the inside. The Silverado was fully loaded. It had air conditioned seats, heated seats, this cloth interior. But yeah, realistically, that's going to be better for the farm. And listen to this. Really, really, really nice sounding truck. You know, I know I say that a lot, but just when you, when you buy something, a truck like this, you want it to sound good, you want it to look good, and I definitely think this fits the bill. So, hey, let's let's go back over and maybe see if we can connect to that trailer and haul it home. So, on everyone's suggestion, we pulled the E400 off. It was just going to be too heavy. I've uh, got that parked over in the lot. We are going to have uh, the dealership bring that over. Uh, instead, I got the Silo King hooked up to the 8405. It, much, much better fit. Uh, got it all strapped down. Just doing a quick little inspection here to make sure we're good. Everything's plugged in. Uh, I'm going to have to find where the uh, connector is for that. But I think once I get the lights all going, we can head home. Just taking it slow here, got up that first hill. You know when you get a new truck and trailer and just everything, you just don't trust it yet. Uh, kind of the way I feel, but this is really, this is pulling great. I think this is no issues. We're going we're gonna to get home this time. So we, we made it home. I'm actually... I pulled across the road to the old homestead uh, that is on this large field. I'll actually walk you over there and, and show you what it looks like. No one lives there, but we do own it. I, I did this because the the entryway into the main farm, it's got a pretty decent slope on it, and I'm just not comfortable. I feel like I'd back this off, and it'd pull those rear wheels of the truck up, and away we'd go. I don't need... Another insurance claim, uh, right now. Let's 
backing up really slow here. But you can see how if I didn't... Uh, there we go. Oh, no. I'm stuck. Hold on. So I pulled forward. I think I got the uh, the incline on the ramp just a little bit better, and this isn't going to hit. Round two. That is better. Back it up here, and and, and you see this road. We're, we're fortunate that the road is is actually closed by the by the county. Uh, we hop out here. You can see across. That's the old homestead with the soybeans. Main road into town, and uh, the, the the cow farm uh, is right behind me. Main farm, and this tree has been down for a really really long time. The the county's actually got some blockades up here, so we don't get any traffic, which is really nice. I know, I know. I, I should just wait and let them do it for me, but I, I couldn't resist back down to Prairie State and I got the Kenworth with the trailer. What a truck. It has been a long day, but you can see we've got we've got a lot of the equipment here out on the road. Uh, we got permission from uh, the county to just have the trucks stop right in the road, back up, and uh, unload. You know, and for all the real farmers out there, it, you know, I'm, I'm sure you you know are well aware that moving equipment is uh, one of the uh, one of the things you do all the time. So, uh, I absolutely feel for you, but uh, it's still exciting to get new stuff for the farm, and I'm glad we finally got it here because we've got crops growing. Now that I think about it, we still got more equipment that we need. Spent 1.9 million now, closer to two, buying that new truck, and I don't have sprayers, I don't have uh, any way to bail. Uh, it's always something, but that's okay. It's fun. So Meg and I, we've now got to haul all this equipment back to the uh, to the shop, to the shed, get it put away. And next time, well, we might have some animals here. So thank you so much for being with us, for farming with the Stovers. We hope you stick with us because there's a lot more to come.